What's up, everybody? This is Jason Melly. I'm the CEO and founder of The Collective Genius, and I don't do Facebook Lives a whole lot, so I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm going to ask you to bear with me uh, as we push through this. We've got a great topic today, which I'll show, uh, help you with in just a moment here, but um, before we get rocking and rolling, uh, for those of you that don't know about The Collective Genius, I'll tell you a little bit about it. We take high-caliber real estate investors, probably much like yourself if you're watching this, uh, and put you on the fast track, right? The fast track to scaling your business, building wealth, and giving back. And one of the things that we're going to talk about today uh, is kind of that that second pillar, right? Is 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 scaling your business. Um, the topic of conversation, if you will, is ten steps to avoid getting punched in the mouth and or your wallet on your rehab projects, right? So what I want to do is bring you some information from one of our world class rehabbers slash flippers inside of the Collective Genius. And so I'm going to minimize this real quick and cruise over to our member portal, right? So um, let me show this to you guys really quickly. This is really cool. We just got a, we just built a new portal here where all of the information uh, is inside of it from every single uh, presentation that's ever been in CG. Uh, it's all inside of here, right? Um, so what we would do is we would come in here and search for Mr. Jeremy Heath's name, all right? We're gonna pull up a presentation that he did about the 10 steps all right, to making sure your rehabs are on track. So let me pull up this presentation real quick uh, and kind of go over it with you. But before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about Jeremy, right? We have some rock star members uh, inside of CG, and this gentleman right here uh, is one of them. He and his wife, Melanie, just super great people, got a really cool story. They're from uh, Australia. He's got a super cool accent, you know? He's like, you want to make sure your rehabs are straight, mate? So, uh, really, really good guys out of the San Antonio market, and um, you probably, I think, did about 110 transactions. Big chunk of those are rehab flips and turnkeys. Uh, I think he has about uh, 48 to 50 plus rentals and probably has in his property management company north of 100 units. So, very talented cat, very giving, uh, if you will. And uh, so, what he did, um, let me pull us up in the membership portal here. His presentation is attached here, so we're going to open it up real quick. And I'm going to walk you through the 10 bullet points that he created uh, that really kind of rocked everybody's world uh, at, our present, at our meeting a couple months ago, right? So let me get to the right slide. There's a picture, actually, of, of my man right there. He and his lovely wife. Um, those are his numbers, pretty close, right? 114 deals in 18, 47 rentals north of 100 units of property management. All right, so here's the deal. I'm being instructed I need to slow down. I'm talking too fast because I'm nervous. So um, we're gonna slow it down a little bit and we'll let you, we'll zoom in just a little bit here. So if you wanna get a screenshot of this or what have you, uh, you're welcome to do so. So what Jeremy does is he's created uh, a 10 step process that's really allowed him to minimize and compress the amount of time it takes him to do a rehab and more importantly, the amount of money that it takes them to do a rehab. Those, you know, opening out for too long are really two of the biggest complaints that a lot of people have. They can go into a project, think they're gonna hit it out of the park, and those two kind of money-sucking and time-sucking vampires come in and, and uh, take all your money, honey. So, uh, with that said, he's, what he's done is he defines a core focus and creates design standards. Um, design standards are basically, he has different levels or different price points of rehabs that he buys. And he's got several different packages. And so based upon the rehab, he will assign a package that determines the color of paint, determines the tile that's going to be laid, determines the, you know, uh, the countertops that's going to be used. And so pinning the level of rehab, he's created design standards. And then he, he picks one of those and assigns that design standard to the house, right? So really knowing going in, hey, we're not going to slow down to design the house. The design has been pre-done. The, the materials have been chosen. Right, so that, that compresses time right there. Number two, having a clearly defined construction process that is easy to understand. Now, I don't wanna get in on the, the weeds on this because this is a very detailed presentation, um, but Jeremy has built out, because each one of these, right, each of these 10 bullets is actually supported by a systematic process. And I'll share some examples of that with you in just a moment, but um, having a clearly defined structure process that's easy to understand. So he basically has a step-by-step -step process of who's coming in, what trades, who's managing them, and the time frames in which they are to execute and complete the job. Okay? Having standard pricing that is agreed to by contractors. To me, out of these 10, this list of 10 items here, 
that's probably the single most important item up there. Okay, and I'll tell you why. And I'm actually going to show you how he manages this in a minute in, this, in, uh, in the system that he submitted with this presentation. So the way that he does that is he has predetermined amounts that he is going to pay contract. Hey, I'm going to pay you X amount of dollars to change out a door. I'm going to pay you X amount of dollars to, tear, uh, to paint the door. I'm going to tear, pay you X amount of dollars to you know, take up tile or install tile. So everything is predetermined, pre-negotiated. So instead of a contractor effectively creating a bid for him, he's effectively creating a bid for the contractor because he knows what he's willing to pay per square foot or per, per door or whatever it may be. And so when he goes through the house and determines what needs to be done, it's calculated for him and basically given to the contractor and says, here's what we can pay for the job. Okay, so to me, of all of these, Number three is probably the most critically important. Uh, it's a lot of work, and that's kind of what part of what's cool about being in CG is you get to, you know, everyone takes and, and shares systems and strategies, and so instead of starting from scratch, you could use his template, right? And I'll, I'm actually going to show you that in a minute. So number four is building the right team of contractors and having bench strength. One of the big things that Jeremy does is training his contractors. A lot of times, uh, one of the biggest mistakes that rehabbers make is that they assume because they're scaling their business that their contractor can. When in most cases, a contractor is someone who is you know, kind of a glorified tradesman, and just because you can do 30 rehabs at a time doesn't mean they can. right? So he understands that and really incorporates that into uh, building the right team of contractors. Number five, having a standard scope of work document and estimating model. That's what I'm going to share with you here in a few minutes that once that estimating is done, it creates the scope of work, which is then actually shared inside. You see this BT right here. One of the things that a lot of our folks use to, to manage the rehabs is builder trend, okay? Um, so once he has that scope and budget done, he puts it into builder trend, so not only his team can see it, but the contractors can see it and have access to it as well, or at least his GC, if you will, okay? Then he controls the project schedule through Builder Trend because Builder Trend in the different phases. I'll just show you this real quick. Um, it should be in here, and then I'm going to come back. Um, he actually builds this out inside of Builder Trend, effectively with four different phases of construction. And he talks about what the GCs have to do and what the subs have to do during this process, and it's all managed and automated from within Builder Trend, right? So. Let me get back up here uh, to the right spot. Uh, define clear requirements for invoice processing and using uh, Builder Trend ACH payments. So, managing the process and scope of work from the perspective of paying your contractors and how they're submitting invoices to you and setting standards on when they will and won't be paid is of critical importance to making sure that the job is running efficiently. Um, and then a process for approving estimates and change orders. So if something happens on the job site, contractors can't just go in and execute that change without first going through an approval process that Jeremy has to okay. Right? And then finally, having a strong construction leader and providing them with support. So what does that really translate to, well, number 10? If you have a strong construction leader that's constantly m minimizing cost, if you save, you know, say 5% on every single job over the course of 114 deals a year, that amounts to a massive amount of money. So, you know, having a, a strong construction leader and providing them with support they need is, is obviously critical. Um, that's another thing that Jeremy has inside of the system is the job description for his uh, construction managers, how they're compensated, how they're bonused. So effectively, each and every one of these things in here has a document that correlates to it, right? But again, for the sake of time, we won't go into that. But I do want to give you one example, all right? Um, if we were to pull up Jeremy's Dropbox and go over his kind of pre-calculated standard cost, as you can see from in here, he basically has a, hey, if you're going to clean, uh, uh, if you're going to uh, clean the gu install gutters or install new decking or install the, you know, an attic ladder, this is what he's willing to pay on a transaction, okay? Um, let's see. Now, before we transition over to this, um, I wanted to show you something real quick, and I actually think I've messed this up, but that's okay. We're just going to roll with it. Um, 
if you, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, well, I, I don't use Builder Trend, or I'm not sure, you know, how do we do this? The thing that we do above and beyond, like, for example, if you wanted to say, I really need to get my construction knocked out, right? And you were a member of the Collective Genius, you could go to an office visit at Jeremy's office. That's one of the big things that we do. In addition to that, every single month, we're doing live training calls, if you will, where we bring in other experts. Um, say, say you say, hey, listen, I'm trying to manage my construction from inside Podio. Do you have anybody who can help me with that? I'd like to take Jeremy's systems and processes but I'd like to integrate it all in and manage it from Podio. So what you see right here is we have monthly training calls, right? So if I were to click that, as you can see, these are a record, if you will, of previous training calls. And we did one back in uh, October of last year called Scaling Your Rehabs on Time, on Quality, and on Budget. And what you have here, let me show you this uh, gentleman right here. I'm gonna get to this spot and pause it. Um, this is David O'Donnell. Let me, let me pause this thing here, right? This is David O'Donnell. Uh, he's with Bridge Turnkey Investments out of Kansas City. And again, big studs as far as doing rehabs. They do probably, they'll probably do 150 plus turnkey deals this year out of Kansas City. And so what he's doing on our monthly training, which again is, was done live uh, via Zoom, it's inside of our monthly training calls here, recorded live, where he's going through and actually showing how he is managing his construction from within Podio and Asana, okay? So however you do it, we've got an expert inside of CG that can help you. Um, again, you know, when you try to box up what we do as an organization, we take high caliber investors like yourself and we place them on the fast track to becoming visionary leaders that scale their business, build wealth, and give back. And what we're doing right now is really giving you examples of how you scale your business, right? This is how you're able to scale construction but much of that evolves back to first becoming a visionary leader, which respects the fact that you gotta have systems. The beautiful part about being inside of CG is that you don't have to create them from scratch because we're all in here sharing with each other constantly, okay? Um, let's see, anything else that I wanna cover off on? Here's what I want you to do right now. Uh, if you wanna learn a little bit more about us, I'm um, actually set up, uh, if somebody can enter this in the comments, I would greatly appreciate it. If you wanna learn a little bit more about us, uh, I set up a, a page for you, a video. Uh, you can go to learnmoreaboutcg.com. That's learnmoreaboutcg.com. If somebody could drop that in the comments there or something like that. And when you get there, um, it's, it's super laid back. It's just a short video of me explaining what our process looks like if you wanna attend the Collective Genius. And then what we've done is, as you get a few minutes into this video, I've put together a Zoom call with some big rock stars inside of CG, whether it's you know Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle, Phil Green out of San Diego that'll do 200 plus, 150, 200 deals this year. Uh, Doug, Doug Hopkins, who's in uh, Los Angeles and Phoenix, will probably do 300 plus deals this year. Uh, just a, a bunch of folks, you know, Randy Lawrence, who's acquired 1,100 plus multifamily units uh, in the last 12 months. I've been bet done a ton of investing with him. But basically what happens here is you'll see, you get to watch this video where they just kind of go around the horn and talk about how CG has helped them and really, more importantly, the deal flow and what they're doing together, okay? Um, so go check it out. Uh, with that said, again, uh, Jason Medley here with the Collective Genius Real Estate Investor, Investing Mastermind. I appreciate your all's <laughs> patience with me. I don't really do this whole social media thing a lot, but we're coming at you. We're getting ready to crank it up. Uh, and so hopefully I'll get a little bit better at this. I was a little bit nervous this time, but, but with that said, I think we're gonna try and do something crazy here. We're not sure it's gonna work, um, but we're gonna pull up Facebook, and since I'm being recorded with the phone, I can't see who's on or if you have any questions. So I'm going to pull up Facebook. What am I doing, Jess? Four. I'm coming. Hit four. All right. And see Facebook Live. Oh no, we have had a... That's okay. That, it happens, right? So I guess we got logged out, um, but not a huge deal. We'll get it right next time. Something happened, we got logged out. So uh, with that said, we're signing off. I hope this helps you guys. I'm, I'm getting the finger that I'm forgetting to do something I can tell right now. What am I right now doing? we have about like six people on Facebook Live, yeah? and we already got one comment from Elvin is that I could be pronouncing that incorrectly and his name is Elvin Ramos. Yeah, that's my and buddy Elvin. Yeah, he says great video and he appreciates everything that's going on. So Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so Anybody if you got any questions or anything like that? We're good. Uh, right now I think we're good. Everyone's just watching, mm -hmm. I think absorbing all the information. All right. 
Thank you guys. Peace out. We'll continue to come at you with some valuable content moving forward. Thank you.